Okay, guys, I'm back. Oh, we got a double feature tonight. Yeah, story time twice. Twice. I, uh, I can't tell you about, uh, my elementary. Because I actually had two of them. I started out at, um, Jefferson, I think it was, and went to Lincoln. It would, See, Lincoln was the one by my grandma's house. And so uh, from third grade on, I was at Lincoln. And uh, had a whole new set of friends. And uh, some tough growing years. Yeah, they were development years. Because that third to six, that's... Uh, that's uh, when you start to realize you are in a world and that uh, you have to uh, eventually become an adult. But uh, I had some good friends. But I have one in particular that I want to talk to about, talk to you about. This one, it's another one of those after school buddies. Man, we cruised up to his house and uh, hung out. But it wasn't because uh, they were having me there just because I was a buddy. It actually started as a, a program. And this is something we need to keep going on and make it happen, Captain. It's called Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts. We need to keep them separate, but we need them programs because... Uh, they are great for kids to learn. And it gives them an activity after school. And I remember his mom was our scout leader. And uh, so all of us that were in scouts, we went up to their house after school on scout day. And we would cover whatever we had to cover. She always had the coolest activities for us. She really put her heart and soul into that thing. I mean, it was fun. It was so much fun. Um, and you know, not that I think it was a bearing factor, but she wasn't a real tall woman either. So she was just like an older us, and she was a kid in a lot of ways. It was fun. And uh, I used to just love going over to their house. And, uh, so there were times when the, we didn't have a scout meeting, but I went with them, <laughs> went with the gym and we went home, we went home to, to sit and just have fun in the backyard. Let's check this out. Let's do this there. Let's, let's just jump on the swing set. Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was another awesome, you might say parents that, uh, I pulled some overnighters with them. Ah. Now, I'm not supposed to tell my parents because they told me to tell you this, but we watched that Blazing Saddles and we laughed so hard. And uh, I remember his mom telling him, now, don't you tell your mom I let you watch this. <laughs> I don't know if you ever seen Blazing Saddles. Probably not a kid's show, but it was funny as heck. Oh, man, we just laughed so hard that night. Popcorn and kicking it in the living room. Oh, it was, uh, you know, I remember that sleepover most of all. Because that was the funniest night I ever had in my life. Because, <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to watch those kind of shows at home. No, no, that was not, uh, no. We've seen a lot of westerns. Yeah, Dad ran the TV set. And, uh, yeah, we've seen a lot of westerns. Yeah. Anyway... And uh, unless those kids' shows came on, you know, Charlie Brown or something, then it's like, no, Jack, no, the kids get the TV now. And we got to watch it. So, uh, but uh, that scout program, that's a dang good thing, guys. That is a great thing. You know, because these kids are going to have a little more pressure. They're going to be trying to get their adulthood thing going on a little sooner. So, uh Getting a little more education and a little more, uh, this is the world, folks, in them. 
We need that. We need that. And uh, the activities of it. I love Cub Scout softball. That was the only sport that I really got to do and enjoy as far as uh, him not messing with me and tripping me up. I wasn't no Willie Mays or anything like that. But I had some good times at that. I uh, I did some really cool, proud moments in those games. And uh, that, I have to say that that's one of the things my dad was a coach in. He, uh, and then he helped in scouts when it went to the Boy Scouts. And those races with the cars. Oh, man, that was so much fun. That was a time where I could put some engineering to work. Oh, yeah. Check it out, those car races. They were maybe not all that much engineering, but it was cool. And carve your own. And, uh, you know, when you're a little boy, that's some stuff. You get to make your own car. Yeah. That was, uh, that was a cool thing. Yeah, and I had another friend. His dad was a, the scout master. And my dad was kind of like an apprentice master, you know, scouts. And uh, we did have fun. We did have fun. Those scouts programs, we need to get them fired back up. We need to get them so that all kids have that option for an activity after school. Because there is a lot of education in that. And uh, there's a lot of fun. And, you know, that's what it's about. Is learning and having fun at it. You know, we want to give kids away from the phone, cell phones and the TV. We'll give them something to do. That's that's the key. You know, the reason why they're sitting on that couch is because nothing else to do. So, uh, yeah, we need to every village take hold of that. We could probably get some money out of that tithe if you really need it and uh, make that uh, happen, you know, get the packs going again. Because I remember it was official, man. I had I was this pack. That's, that's my pack. And uh, we were uh, we were in, in hog heaven when it come to that. It was just because there's nothing more proud than you get that little triangle. You get to put it on your uniform. Yeah, that's me. I did that. I did all the requirements of it. There's achievement there. There's achievement. There's like a goal line and all I got to do is the work to get across it. Yeah, I'm proud of that. Anyway, I'm going to get back to watching some more music and, uh, and thank her and Jeff's parents. I mean, you, you guys, I mean, all my buddies' parents worked so good to me. They really were. Uh, and fed me suffers, I'm telling you. They they knew I was kind of on the hard side. I come from the wrong side of tracks, kind of in a way. It was, uh, yeah, that's the projects, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough back in them days. But uh, I wouldn't change a thing. Because I appreciate it. I appreciate life now. I I know the struggles of mankind. And that's really what he was teaching me all along. Not the easy street. The downright tar, hard and tough one. So, kudos to my father. Anyway, I got to get back. I don't want to get all mushy and everything. And I got to watch some more videos. And, uh, yeah. Thanks again. I'll talk at you here in a bit.